So this month I'm going to do Mark's September Sacrifice. Today is Tuesday the 1st of September 2020. Next month I turn 50. Now I haven't trained seriously since 2017 when I did Ironman Cairns. And over that time I've seen my weight steadily progress. So I think I raced Cairns at about 73 kilos, maybe 74, 72, somewhere around there. I stood on the scales for the first time this morning in three years and I was 84.7. That is the heaviest I've ever been. And I think it's just been this slow, gradual build up of weight. I've still trained in terms of, I would call it exercise. I've done a bit of running, some gym, you know, done a bit of riding, but I haven't trained properly with any structure. So it's more of been about exercise. But one of the things that I've noticed is I've become very good at making excuses. So this month, I'm actually gonna try one of these 30 day challenges. You read about them all the time. Now, the reason I'm doing the challenge is because I need to reverse my habit of making excuses and actually develop some more discipline like I used to have and like I tell athletes I should have. I haven't got it myself. So one of the worst things that for me has been, you know, I haven't been eating badly, but I've just been having too many treats, things like, you know, chocolates or sweets or biscuits. Um, I love my dairy yogurt, and I'm probably just eating a little bit too much. Still eating reasonably healthy, but eating a little bit too much and a little bit too much of the good stuff. So this month, the first thing I'm doing with my challenge is I'm, uh, I have been sort of reducing my gluten and dairy intake the last few months, but no sweets, nothing pre-packaged. So to give you an example in the in our little pantry here, I won't be having things like... Um, you know, usually bars or quick bars for morning or afternoon teas. It's going to be only, you know, stuff that is not pre-packaged. So today for lunch, I'm going to have some gluten-free toast with some ricotta, beetroot spread and tomato. Just have two or three pieces of that. That's going to be my lunch. And then this morning I had some gluten-free cereal with a kiwi fruit, so a few uh, almonds sprinkled on top and um, some dairy-free yogurt. So I'm going to really watch what I eat, but just cut out all the crap, reduce the sugars, reduce the uh, dairy, reduce the gluten. So that's the first goal around food is to, no, nothing pre-packaged. And I'm making this accountability to the world to help me stay accountable. That's the main thing. And it's also gonna uh, help me learn to cook a little bit, prepare my meals. I, I rely a little bit too much on my beautiful wife, Suze, to prepare meals and snacks. And I just, I grab it conveniently and it's just, it's developed a bad habit. So that's something that I'm going to work on changing this month. So I've also got a little bit of a calendar that I'm going to use. Just an old-fashioned calendar this morning. I put my weight on, 84.7. And then the cross. So what that's for is I'm going to do a gym workout every day. Okay. And that's, again, all about just discipline and not making excuses. So I've been making excuses for my training and skipping training sessions when I probably didn't need to. Because next year I want to go back and do a race again. And I need to get out of these bad habits that I've got into. So for the month of September, I'm going to record my weight. I'm going to make sure I do my strength session every day. Uh, there might be a little bit of even overtraining or overreaching in that, but it's more about the discipline and getting out of a bad habit that I've got into. I've got a little bit, dare I say it, soft mentally. So I need to get into some better habits. So I'm going to do some regular updates, you know, how I'm going, how my weight loss is going. Ideally, I probably need to lose about 10 kilos if I want to race again. Um, and I need to eat a lot better, I need to be a bit more self-sufficient and not rely on my wife. So I hope, you know, at the end of the 30-day the challenge, you'll get something out of it. But during the, during the time, I'm going to keep you informed and, and let you know how I'm going. So this is the before photo, September 1st. I haven't stood on the scales for, I don't know, years. Not really looking forward to it, but anyway, let's see what they are. Take a... That's not cool. <laughs> That's the heaviest I've ever been. Oh, wow. 84.7. Long way to go. So this is my gym routine that I'm going to do every day for the month of September. So you start with five chin-ups, then I'm going to go and do ten push-ups, and that's a mixture of push-ups, you know, on the ground or using the bench or the ball. And then I do an abdominal exercise and a leg exercise, and I do that 20 times. So it takes me about 30 minutes. I'm going to do that every day for the month of September. Fortunately, where we're living, we've got a nice little handy gym where I can come and do this. So there are absolutely no excuses why I shouldn't do it.